mental health training and body cameras for Granville's police officers. They are some of the topics the community brought up with the city's police chief in a park tonight. And as 13 on your side's Amar Abbas reports, the event was held because of the incidents happening across the country involving police. Minneapolis and now Kenosha is causing city leaders in Granville to take a closer look at many of their law enforcement policies. Over the past several months, there's been a lot of unique things that have been happening throughout our country. George Floyd and Jacob Blake are just some of those incidents that are leading to many questions. What are our training? What are our standards? What are our policies? How does use of force play into this? Those questions and more were on the table in Granville Monday night as city leaders held a law enforcement forum. Police Chief Paul Anglum says he doesn't want people to feel intimidated. We realize that it uh, can possibly be intimidating to walk up and talk to a person in uniform, so we wanted to make an effort to be available. The department is authorized to have 26 sworn officers on duty, and officials say it takes seven months to hire an officer because the vetting process is so thorough. Changes could be coming to the department in the way of body cameras for all officers. It's a big investment, um, but the dash cams have been effective and helpful for us, and we think that body cams are worth taking a very serious look at. Extensive training, especially in situations dealing with mental health, is also being offered. Dealing with mental health situations, which is a big deal when it comes to police departments and dealing with incidents that might, might escalate, and so each officer is going to have um, 40 hours of training. In Granville, I'm a boss, 13 on your side.